Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If, if you guys keep clicking, I'll keep making the videos. For now, we have part three in this series. Uh, we're getting pretty deep into it. Uh, it. For me, this is, I mean, the second half of this stretch in, in Survivor for me is one, one of the best you know stretches. But the first half is probably the worst stretch. And, and for that reason, this stretch is probably the worst stretch, um, e even though that there are some golden seasons in, in this stretch. Um, let, let's get started. Let's just start off right now. We have Holly. I think Holly plays a great game. Uh, my issue with Holly is I, I just don't see a chance of her winning against either Chase or Fabio. Um, and she was going to have to get to the end w with one of them because she was going to get to f f Final Four w w with both of them because of, of the fact that F Fabio kept winning. Now, if Fabio didn't win, she probably s still get, gets to the end with Chase, and Chase crushes her e either way. So I feel like Holly didn't have the social game nor the jury management to beat the players that w that she was trying to get to the end with, and so that's kind of socially unaware on, on her part. So Holly's going to go at the end of B tier. Okay, moving on, we have Ashley. Ashley, for me, is top of D tier. I feel like Ashley is a player who played the game in an alliance and she did a good job staying in the alliance but what she should have done is, is flipped earlier she realized that she, that her and natalie and philip were, were getting dragged to the end and she was and she and she realized that she was not one of you know rob's goats to take the end and, and, and you know rightfully so she she ended up flipping she just did it, did it way 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 too late and for that reason i can't give her much respect she had no you know strategical um yeah, sense for the first like 35 days of the game i i really didn't see you know much of her except for the fact that she didn't like uh didn't like philip she was unwilling to, to take you know philip to the end she did, did, didn't even want, didn't even want to use him as a go i still i even 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 if she gets to the end with uh rob and let's say philip i really don't see a, a scenario where she beats rob and for that reason i feel like she's she, she started out playing a losing game from the start and i i, I really think she had zero shot at winning the game and for that reason, I, I have to put her in deer. D, nah, D tier. There we go. Uh, Ozzy season 23. Ozzy season 23. It's tough. I mean, the, the thing with Ozzy, I, I think it's very similar to Brett. Ozzy played a game where he was simply one challenge away from winning. But the fact that he put his entire game on one challenge, it's like it's really hard. Like in certain scenarios, like Rob Sesternito did like didn't really put his game on one challenge. It just happened to come down to, to one challenge. Rob, you know, if Matt had won that challenge, Rob, you know, he, Matt would have taken Rob to the end probably. And, you know, Rob, Rob would have beat him. Or obviously if Rob won, he, he would have taken Matt and beat him. Um, Rob had no idea that Matt w w was going to throw it. Whereas an Ozzy really did just put his game on that challenge. You know, his entire plan was, I'm going to get to the end. It's me, you know, final four with me, and uh, you know, four of these uh, these uh, people from you know coaches tribe, and it's just going to be a simple you know who like if I win, I, I win the game, and if I don't, then I don't. And I feel like with with, with Ozzy, it's like it's really tough to respect that game. Now I will say, if he gets to the end, he wins. He wins easily. His entire tribe votes for him. Maybe not Cochran, but I think if if he can get you know his entire tribe and maybe. Uh, one of the other tribe votes, you know, he wins. And so I, that, that that's why he, he's not, you know, bottom C, but it's just tough to like respect his game because he only has one path at the end and that, that, that's just winning challenges. And that's really tough. He didn't have any, he didn't have any strategical power in the, the post merge. Uh, although, although I will say him, him going to Redemption Island and then coming back was a pretty good move in theory. He did a terrible job of executing it and lying when he got back. And so for that reason, I can't give him much respect. Christina, 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 Christina. Christina is in the same boat as Aaron for me. I will say Christina does get some kudos because if, if Christina had stayed with Alicia and maybe dragged like maybe Tarzan to the end, I think Chris, Christina could possibly win. Whereas in Aaron, the, 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 there is not a combination in that entire post merge that sh she wins against. She doesn't beat Coach. She doesn't beat Tyson. She doesn't beat um, uh, JT or Steven. She doesn't beat Taj. And that's basically everyone who's, who's in the post merge. Uh, and so for, for that reason, it, it's really hard to respect Aaron's game. Whereas in Christina, the, the, there was people in the the post merge who you know she she, she could have beaten, but it's it, it's the exact same thing with 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 her, which is that she she was always going to be like the fourth boot, and that's 
with her playing her, you know, her, probably her, her best scenario out, um, other than going with Alicia and maybe, maybe Tarzan, which, uh, you know, which is her, you know, her, her, her going with Kim, Chelsea, and Sabrina. And that scenario would always w- work out with her going at four. Um, she played a game as a goat and she didn't really have much you know, strategic sense. Most of, of, of the jury didn't like her. She w- wasn't respected socially or strategically or physically. Um, and her own allies didn't even like her. So I feel like for her, it's like it's really tough to give her much uh, respect there. Malcolm. Malcolm flies right to the top. Um, we'll put him at top. Uh, top of A for now. My issue with Malcolm's game is that um, Malcolm's in inability to understand that he was such... Oh, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me start over. Malcolm put his whole game on the last challenge... Now, Ozzy also did the, you know the same thing. Look, you know, and you know he he's in C, so you're, you're probably asking why is you know, Mal- Malcolm in A and Ozzy's in C if if both their games you know were put basically on on the last challenge, and that's because but before that, Ozzy had zero control. Malcolm had a lot of, of control post merge uh, strategically. He was very well liked by uh, the jury. He, if he had gotten to the end, he probably would have won maybe unanimously. I, I don't know. Um, whereas an Aussie does not win unanimously. I feel like Malcolm just overall had a, a lot, lot, like a lot of control over uh, his situation in the game. And he even had a path to the end with Denise if h- him and Denise had teamed up. Uh, so I have to, you know, give him that uh, credit. Whereas an Aussie had no path to the end once the f- the uh, finale hit. He, he, he just had to win out. Malcolm did, did, didn't really have to win challenges. And he, he was neg- uh, never uh, tar- targeted uh, pre-merge either. Uh, whereas in, you know, I feel like other players that, that play a, a similar type of game have to rely on challenges. He, he didn't have to. He was physically, strategically, and definitely socially like set up to win. And it, he was one challenge away from winning. S- similar to Rob, I, I just feel like he had less strategical power than Rob or a Rafe or, or like a Sari or a, a Fair Play. And that's why he stays in, in top of the A tier. Eddie, Eddie Fox, Eddie Fox, Eddie Fox. Um, Eddie Fox for me, he's like a Brett. He's a Brett. He, he's just, he's a Brett. <laughs> he's a Brett. I, I will say he probably, he probably has less, less chances of getting to the end. So I'll, I'll put him behind Brett. Brett has a chance to get to the end w- with uh, both his own alliance that gets, uh, you know, decimated by, by Russell, just like Eddie, Eddie, but whereas Eddie has no chance of, of, of getting to the end and beating anybody. R- Reynolds beats him. Malcolm beats him in his little three person alliance. Whereas in Brett beats any of, 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 of the, the, the Galoos. And so for that reason, I feel like I, I can value Brett's game over Eddie's game, but they, they, they play a very similar game where they try not to take to, uh, they really don't take to too many people off and there's there's uh, ways for them to win. It's just like they weren't going to win w- w- with the people who they uh, who they ended up getting to the end with. Uh, Cochran beats Eddie, probably. Um, I think Eddie beats Dawn and Ed, Eddie beats Sherry, but the, the person who, who was in the f- f- Final Four with Eddie and who, who Eddie was not trying to go after at all what was Cochran and, and Cochran was going to beat him just like how uh what's it called but whereas Brett would have beat any of the the three foe fo- 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 members and for that reason I have to value Eddie's game over Brett's game Tina Wesson Tina Wesson uh Tina Wesson's game uh, um I'll put her in B just because there's there's a lot of C's here and I I don't really like that. Um, in fact, I'm gonna drop I'm gonna drop these two below. I think Denise is better than those two. Um, what's it called? So, mo- 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 you know, mo- moving on, we have Denise. I f- or not Denise. Tina. I feel like with Tina, well, one she got voted out. So I I I, I just I can't put someone who got voted out in the the, the this same season as I'm ranking them in. Uh, which, with much respect, uh, Sari, Rob, Fair Play, Rafe, Malcolm, Yao, Lex, and Kathy never got voted out in their uh, seasons that we're talking about. And for that reason, I have to put in, any of them uh, over Tina. And then the other people in, in the B tier had more str- strategical control, whereas in Tina just re- re- relied on a challenge. And I really don't don't think she beats Tyson. I I don't think she beats Sierra. I think Monica may e- e- even beat her. I feel like her, her only path to the end is maybe with Monica and Jervis, but that was, you know, banking on Tyson not 
not not to win a challenge. And on top of that, she she, she really didn't have much strategical control o- over the game for that reason. I, I really can't value her game that that much. Cass, um, it's really tough because I mean, Cass loses the game at the merge. She immediately loses half the jury. She was never going to win. She didn't have that much strategical sense. Oh, oh no, sorry. She, she, she had a good strategical uh, sense. My my issue with her, she she really didn't make many big moves. I know, I, I know. Everyone thinks like, so she's a really good villain, but she's not like a villain like like how Fair plays a villain. Where Fair plays like actually a good player. No, she's she's just a villain like as a person, uh, as a character in the game. I I should say. So for that, I I, I have to put Cass at in, in the D tier because she didn't have a chance of winning after the merge. Um, just like how Aaron in 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 a uh, Christina basically had no t- t- chance of winning a- after the merge either. Um, it, it's just really tough. There, there isn't much to say. She, she, she you know she makes her her big flip and takes out Sarah, which I, I will say is probably a good move. But I I think there's no one in the post merge that she beats, even if she doesn't make that flip. But after she she makes that flip, no one no one she uh like no, no, no one is there in the post merge that she loses to uh she gets blown out by just about everybody um even morgan i really i i think morgan could could win over cast i i just feel like cast was not playing a winning game from the merge keith nail keith now so the thing with keith is i you know keith's game is it, it's up there for me i i feel like keith is probably behind ian I feel like with Keith is like I think Keith understood that because so at Final Four Keith sees the, the that the entire jury is like his bros like 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 all all, all like the, most of the San Juan Del Sur uh, jury is dudes and they were all going to to, to to vote for a dude if they got to the end aside from Jeremy and so I feel like if Keith had gotten to the end you know he wins probably over um, Missy and uh, and um, Missy and Jacqueline, um, he might even win, win over Natalie. I, I feel like with uh, with with uh, Natalie um, and him, I feel like Natalie grabs Jeremy, um, probably ba- uh, Baylor, and who whoever else gets, gets booted out, wh- wh- whether it's Missy and, and um, Missy or Jacqueline. And then I feel like Keith gets all of the, the boys' votes, and I, I feel like he, he probably beats N- N- Natalie as well. And so I feel like Keith had a path to the end, and he he, he had a chance to win. He, he focused on that path. It's just that, like again, he, he put his game on on that challenge, and he, he he wasn't very strategically aware all season. And for that reason, I have to put him mid B tier, pretty average game. Rodney, 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 Rodney's an an, an A A tier for me. I, he's probably last in A tier just just because of the fact that the people all a lot of people in A tier. Like had a like a flaw or, or two in their game, or a player or two that was always going to beat them. Uh, and Rodney has you know sh- has that exact same person in Mike. Um, Rodney plays Mike just straight up out outplays Rodney physically and uh, and uh, strategically. Uh, Rodney beats, but the thing that I I, I have to give Rodney is he beats a lot of people post merge. He beats just about everybody except maybe Joe and Mike, and that's really impressive. He probably beats Mama C. Which is very very impressive, and I feel like he, he he set up his game in a way where if he what he didn't get forced to fire by a uh, Mike, he probably ends up getting to the end, especially if if he beats Mama C. Um, and I feel like if Mike hadn't gone on, on his run, I think we're looking at a, a, a pretty simple rot 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 rot, rot Rodney win. I think overall. All right, and that finishes out this part of the video. All right, guys, thank you so much for, for clicking on my videos. It means a lot of you guys click on my videos. 81% of you guys aren't subscribed. Let's change that. It's easy and it's free. And if that's it, thank you for watching.